Hey, what's going on guys? Um, so I'm working on the push rod suspension today and I got some portions welded. I know it looks globbed on there. Say hi Vanessa. <laughs> so yeah, I got this welded on here. This is tight. These are nice and tight. That's tight. Um, minor setback and I kind of should have seen this coming because well, looking at the Formula One uh, versions, there's a reason why they went before they originally came out with their initial set way back in the day. They had this issue. Um, I definitely need to change the top hat of the suspension for sure because not only does it flex a little bit, um, there's a little bit of deflection. So... Um, with my beautiful daughter right here that's gonna help me. She's got her face all freaking dirty. Um, go ahead and start pumping, sweetheart. So, as you can see, this belt crank is designed so that it pushes over before it comes up. But because this is such a far, this is actually compressing it this way rather than compressing the whole thing. Um, yeah, so this could work. Uh, I could technically probably put the wheels on and probably drive it and it might be okay. Um, what I'm worried is, is if I take a corner and when this side collapses and that side comes in, is this going to deflect side to side or is this going to try and twist on me side to side? now? Yes, it is bolted down here, but this can still swivel on its own, hence why I have the lock nut right here. So, we'll see. Go ahead and release it, baby. Do you know how to release it? There you go. Ah, there we go. So, yeah. Um, I haven't welded this side yet, right here. So, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to weld this one on. Get this one set. They look really fucking good, by the way. Oh, one thing I didn't check was... Yeah, I know I have a... Uh... There we go. Those gas struts. Gas struts need to be replaced. Um, let's see. With it in here. Go ahead, Vanessa. Oh, did you tighten it? Nope, you gotta tighten it. Hold on, hold on. See, you're moving it. You're moving it. There you go. Go ahead, sweetheart. Go ahead. Keep going. Yep. All right, the whole car is moving. All right, go ahead and back it off. So if you look right here. Oh. So the spring does compress. Um, it does take a little bit longer to compress, which is what I am definitely not trying to do. Yes, I could change the preload. However, uh, for mechanical advantage, I really, really want to keep the spring rate the same, keep it torqued the same. Um, Tyne, Teen, they, they engineer these coilovers very, very, very well. Um, and... I mean, look at it. It looks beautiful. It really does. My concern is this takes just a little bit before it fully starts to compress the spring. And I'm worried that taking the corner, it's not going to compress it as much. So the tire is going to dig in too far before it actually starts to compress. And the only way that's gonna happen or get fixed is if you change the ride height, which I don't wanna do. I wanna keep it relatively low, about as low as I had it with just this, the setup before the push rod. Um, it doesn't rub with that setup before, but you know, I, I really, I'm really worried that the deflection will actually cause a lot of issues. Um, 
A lot of people are asking me why I wanted to do this. Well, one, look at that. Look at this. Just a bar. So now I can run a wider tire inwards on my inset. And two, um, the aesthetics. I mean, it looks pretty damn good. Um, I've been working on this for weeks, talking to a bunch of people, trying to get this set up. Um, I did this initial design myself. Granted, this is some R&D work. So, I mean, of course, there's always things to change. Um, my biggest thing is I'm changing the top hat manning position. If I get a different top hat and I can get the... Uh, what's it called? I can get the um, coilover to sit maybe a little bit more centered. It will start to compress it farther down first before it decides to, you know, have that little bit of lag time. Um, I like the positioning. Uh, everyone tells me to cross them. My issue with crossing it is uh, there's no room. I mean, yes, I could move the battery over to the back and then cross them and you'll be able to see them more. Um, however, crossing them, I'm hitting against the back portion of the uh, rear seats. And I still have my children back there. I, I like having my children back here. Yes, it mostly is a two-seater. Yes, the rear end was designed for skinny Asian chicks, <laughs> small little Asian women. But um, this, this design is definitely going through. This is, I feel, going to be a lot better, especially when it comes to uh, straight line speed. Um, I don't plan on going in just straight lines. I plan on actually taking this car and doing some circuit racing, some time attack. Love time attack. Um, so, yeah, there's my little issue. Good news is, is uh, the belt crank itself doesn't want to push the whole thing up before it starts compressing mostly because of the distance between the fulcrum and the actual push rod of itself. So, a lot more R&D work to do, a lot more stuff to do. Um, I'm gonna put the tire on, I'm gonna put the other side on together, and I'm gonna see what it feels like. Uh, go over there. I'm, I'm just gonna put everything together as if I was gonna mount it for the last time. And, and see how it works, uh, see how it looks. I know there's always adjustments that need to be done. Um, and at this point I have the fulcrum, the push rod, the adjustment for the, the, the three adjustments I have for the actual pullover. So yeah, we'll see guys. But uh, so far, right now, it's looking good. It's going great. Um, just stay with me, I guess. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll do a little update. I'll, I'll probably uh, put everything together, weld everything, put everything on, and then show you guys a video of what it looks like sitting without adjustments. I don't want to make too many adjustments now because of that whole deflection thing. Um, so we'll see. Um, I'm thinking about adding that second sway bar that I was talking about before. Um, I don't know. My biggest concern is just how the spring compresses on that coilover, because uh, it does take a little bit, and I don't, I don't like that. I want it to compress as soon as possible. The faster that spring compresses, the better the the preload. The, the better the preload, I guess. The uh, the more stable the rear end will be, um, especially in corners. Uh, I do. The only reason I have it set up the way it is right now is because I was trying to keep room for the EDFC that I wanted to get and add it on there. But since I have to change the top hat, I might not be able to do EDFC anymore, which sucks. All right, guys. So first attempt with the tires on the ground, no jack stands, compressing the suspension. Holy shit, that was a big fail. Oh, my God. My, my tires literally, or my rear suspension looks slammed. I mean, slam slammed. <laughs> so, 
I'm getting ready to adjust the suspension a little bit. And then I'm probably just going to adjust the height and see, see how it goes then. Um, I feel like if I adjust the height, the preload will change a little bit, so it might make it a little bit better. Um, but yeah, that, uh, yeah, that suspension was maxed. <laughs> this shit was funny. Um, all right, we'll see how it looks here in a minute. So, this is the issue I'm having. As I raise this, the car sits lower. <laughs> Mostly because if you look at the, that's the deflection I was talking about. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to raise the car back up, put it back on jack stands. I'm gonna see what happens when I collapse the spring a little bit better. I mean, that's a really soft spring. So like in essence, if it was a stronger spring and that was more centered, it would work. But let me, let me bring it down and see what happens. Um, maybe I should drop it like two inches and see what happens. Hey peeps. So it's the next day after doing the push rod suspension. Um, needless to say, all the adjustments I did made no difference, which I kind of figured, but you know, why not? Just for shits and giggles. Um, kind of bummed that it didn't work out. Um, I just need to make some changes to my suspension and get some custom top hats made, just like what I stated before. But um, kind of bummed, like I said. But uh, good news is um, I have a friend of mine who is going to film the Supra. Uh, I cannot wait. Like, professionally shot Supra. This, this will be the first time any of my cars I've ever owned in my entire life would be professionally shot. And... I, I went and got a haircut to look good at least. <laughs> um, and I, I, I can't wait. Uh, we're, we're shooting tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna clean the Supra today. And really like, I, I'm excited. I'm really excited. So watch for the video. Um, as soon as we shoot the video, he says it's going to take about three to five days to edit everything, go and music in, whatever. So once that's done, I'm going to have a video of me as we're doing the shoot. And then I'm going to have a video, I'm going to post the, the final edit of the video and then, um, just, just enjoy it. Like I can't fucking wait guys. Um, anyways, back to the suspension. Um. Yeah, really just small little things here and there and then tidy it up and whatever. Excuse me. Wow, I'm having the, the burps today. Um, anyways, you guys have a great day and girls, peeps. Um, stay tuned for that video. I should have it post probably within the next week or so. Um, yeah, have a great day, guys.